Are you pleased with the way that the defense has competed so far as camp has begun? Yeah, I've, I think there's been a lot of competition out there. I think, uh, you know, and it's competing in every drill. It's, and it's competing against yourself to, to do the th right things over and over and over. Because once you do that, then that becomes a habit. And habits are, you know, that's who you are. So, uh, but yeah, I've been pleased with the competition. Um, you know, we get we get great work here, you know, with, with Jimbo. I mean, he's just, that's the culture that he's created. And you have a hard time here if you won't compete. But yes, we've uh, excited about what we've seen. As far as the, the secondary is concerned, last year were so many injuries forced guys into situations mm -hmm. they may not have been ready for. On the flip side of that, they've now had a lot of experience in game play. How does that raise the level of what you see from them in, in, in practice, and how deep is that group? Right well, uh, you know, you said it exactly right. I mean, there's no substitute for experience. That's how you learn to play the game, is to play. And uh, that's how you learn to process the game. So I think uh, that means that doesn't guarantee you success in the future. What it does, it gives you, you know, gives you that experience and what you do with that experience, that makes you better. And uh, I've, you know, I've seen that. I've seen some, a lot of carryover. So we just, but we, you have to understand you got to come out and do it every single day. You can't do it one day and then relax and, okay. There's been a, a lot of preseason hype about Derwin, maybe the top player in college football. What are some of the traits that he has that make that even something that could be possible? Well, I just, I, you know, I tell people all the time, Derwin James is a great person. I mean, everything he does, he works hard at it. And he's very talented. Everybody can, you know, see that. But he's a guy that uh, can do a lot of things. He's very multiple. Uh, he could probably line up at every position on defense, you know. And everybody says, would you put him at nose? I said, he'd be tough, you know, on a, on a center, you know, trying to block him. But uh, like I said, he's just a, he's a guy that's very multiple. He understands the game. He processes the game. And uh, he, he loves to play. I mean, he absolutely loves to play. As far as the defensive line, starting with the tackles, how deep is that group? And it seems like the, the two deep could, could start at a, at a lot of places at that position. Uh, you know, like I, I mentioned that Odell is such a great uh, evaluator of talent and a great developer, not only of players, but young men. Uh, and you can see that with Derek Noddy and DeMarcus Christmas, Fred Jones and, you know, um, Wally, all those guys have done, you know, such good things. And you, again, it's competition. I mean, competi when you have competition at a position, it makes you better because you're, you know, you want to keep getting the playing time that you have. It makes you work hard. And then the defensive line, line on the, the edge, obviously you can't replace what DeMarcus did last right. year, but both Josh and Brian had great years last year. Mm -hmm. What what do they need to do to, to take the next, the, the next step for them? Well, I think uh, just carry, be a more comp complete players, you know. Uh, and what I mean by that, play, run, pass, uh, you know, pass, rush, all those things. Because, we, you know, we ask those guys to – to do different things, which helps them and it helps us. Uh, I think just being consistent, you know, that's the thing that uh, I thought DeMarcus Walker did an unbelievable job of as he developed throughout his career, became such a consistent player. And when you have consistency, you know, for coaches, that's what we look for because if you know something's going to be consistent, then it's a little bit easier to, uh, you know, what results that you're going to get out of that. Finally, when you look at Alabama's offense on tape, what jumps out at you? Uh, very athletic, uh, uh, very good up front, very well coached on the offensive line. Uh, got playmakers at receiver. Uh, you know, quarterback's a great player. They've got great running backs. Um, so they're, you know, they're immensely talented, uh, and you know they're very well coached. They're very well. They're very disciplined. Uh, you know, they do a lot of different, give you a lot of different formations, a lot of different looks, make you adjust to different things. And, you know, so they're, again, they're a very good football team, very well coached and, and got great players at every position.